hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am going to be working on another diy project i am going to be transforming an oversized 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 pair of black cotton pants and i am going to be transforming them into a jacket so follow along as you see me do my thing so i have spent quite a bit of time seam ripping i didn't cut anything because i want to save as much material as possible so these are the pieces that we have this is from the big part of the pins so i am going to use these two pieces to make the big part of the jacket and then the two pieces from the front part of the pins i will use them to make the front part so i am going to be using this jacket is a template. This is what I'm going to be using to make my black jacket. So let's get started. So I have laid down the jacket and I'm just going to trace it out onto my fabric. And then I'll use the pattern that I would have made to make the second piece. So I have just laid out the piece that I cut out earlier and I'm just going to pin it in place before I cut, cut off the second piece. So these are the two pieces for the front part of our jacket. So we're just going to put this aside and work on the back piece. So this is the back piece and I am just going to trace it out on the two pieces of fabric like I did with the first ones. So this is the big part of our jacket. So, so now with the remaining pieces, I am going to try to get some sleeves. So this is one of the pieces that I have. So as you can see, my fabric is a bit shorter than my sleeve length, but that is not a problem. We will improvise right now, right now. What we're going to do is, I'm just going to trace out where this sleeve is ending so that I know where to get on fabric for the calf, for the cuffs. And then I'm just going to trace out the armhole. So this is our tiny little sleeve, tracing out our second sleeve. So right now, I'm just going to pin everything in place so that we can go onto the sewing machine. So I have pinned everything in place and I have also pinned the raw edges of the jacket, the front part, because we're going to hem that. So now we're just going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to use a, a straight stitch on this project.
so what you're going to do is you're going to turn your sleeve inside out and once you've done that you're going to pass it through your armhole so this is your sleeve this is our armhole just going to pass it through like this now what you're going to do is you're going to align this seam point right here with the seam line from your sleeve like this and you're just going to use your pins to secure everything in place. So that's that. So I have attached the sleeves onto the jacket. So now I'm just going to move on to making the collar. We are not taking shortcuts, we are getting a full jacket, people. So for me to get my collar, I just joined these two pieces of fabric that I had because they were not enough to get me the whole piece. So this is the collar that I made and yeah, it's something else but I'll just work with it. So I'm just going to trace out another piece on this remaining fabric. So this is the collar that I made. So I'm just going to turn it inside out so that we can attach it onto the neckline. So I'm just going to join those two pieces together. Just making sure that everything is nicely aligned. This needs to make sense. We are going to be wearing this jacket out, so she needs to be cute. So I have attached the collar. This is what it looks like now. So what I need to do is I need to fix the bottom of the jacket and I am going to attach this. This was the waist band of the pins I'm going to attach it at the bottom and I'm also going to add a pocket I'll decide whether on the right or on the left and then some buttons so for the sake of the length of this video I'm just going to do all of these things off camera and I'll show you the final result when I'm like done done so this is the final look for the jacket this is what the corner looks like it's not really what I wanted it to be, but we'll work with it. And we also have these golden buttons on both sides. Yeah, and this is what the back looks like. And the sleeves. So I ended up not adding any more fabric. I just hemmed this and yeah. So I don't know if you can see my sleeve, so it's it's not bad actually, it's just up to the wrist, the sleeves are up to the wrist, so there was no need for me to add much fabric, but this is what the jacket looks like, and I also didn't add up a pocket, I just thought, you know what, golden buttons on both sides would just do the work, so Let me know what you think about the jacket.
so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed how i made this jacket and if you want to see how i made this top that i'm wearing please head over to my instagram page links in the description box and yeah you can follow me or not do what you wanna it's up to you until next time peace If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for the support. If it's your first time, please consider subscribing. If you have been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, what have I done to you? Haven't I convinced you that I'm not terrible? Please subscribe, won't you? Please be a darling and subscribe.